wonderful opportunity. Uh, this is for us both to be invited as guests, but uh, as fellow anglers to have the opportunity to fish in such magnificent circumstances. Uh, it's just absolutely wonderful. And can I say it's lovely to see some ladies present. Uh, if I may say so, you bring grace to, to, to our celebration today. And it's lovely to see you both. Forward to seeing somebody catching the first fish. And what's the betting, guys? It's going to be one of the ladies. <laughs> oh, talking of ladies, there was a, a rumour that I was hearing that the young, lovely BBC television announcer, Cat Cuby. Well done. Cat Cuby was on the river uh, doing an opening ceremony this morning. So if any of you guys have somehow come to listen to the uh, Miss beautiful Miss Kate Kirby, if that's her name again, it's <laughs> Kathy Kirby I'm thinking about. <laughs> I hope you'll all be disappointed, but she's on another beat. <laughs> and you're just going to have to suffer me. But I, just as we're coming up the road there, I got a news flash from the BBC uh, from her saying to just warn all tea anglers in the vicinity that today's going to be very cold and you'd be well advised to be wearing your thermals. So that was a BBC newcast for you. But uh, as I've said, there's there's another uh, element of this wee ceremony that I think and I understand is the first for tea mount. So again, we're very privileged indeed to take part in that. But, but it's to say this, uh, like most of you, over a lifetime as anglers, we've uh, fished in a lot of places and a lot of rivers and we've met some gillies. Uh, some that are very memorable indeed for good or bad reasons. But uh, I, I just want to take a moment or two just to sincerely thank the Tame Out staff uh, and Con and these gillies uh, for the sheer level of professionalism that they present to all the rods on their visits today. And so Con, on behalf of the assembled company, uh, could ask that you just show your appreciation in the usual way. Uh, we, we know it's uh, not, just our, not just our time uh, with the rod in hand, it's the massive amount of work that goes on on the estates, looking after our boats, as well as looking after the health, safety and welfare uh, of us anglers. So now I think I'm going to hand you over to John R. Piper, who will pipe us on our way, after which we'll invite you to take a Piper's Dram. Thank you very much, Con. Did you tell them for this one now? Right. Bonnie and me. You have to do on this one. Hey Thor, will you take a dram? I will. Slanger. 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 I don't think you'd refuse. Yeah, you're gonna go, I think we're going to miss out then. <laughs>
Fantastic. What a good gilly, I'm always put to win. Four drums. If you could look at us sort of thing, John. Press the other the opposite direction, sort of thing. Can't do. Oh no, the camera man's here, so press this way, John. I just passed it straight up to Alright, a wise man once said, if you want to be happy for a week, get drunk. If you want to be happy for a month, get married. If you want to be happy for a life, do all three, but go fishing. <laughs> it's a lovely pleasure this again, just uh, with this wonderful Speyside dram that just happens to be called the tea dram uh, to carry out this first tradition, our famous tradition of the season. So it's very great pleasure, first of all, to ask John to carry out the first cast. But my great honour and privilege to bless the boat for the new season. Tight lines! Well done, John. Well done. Hey. 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 Good like a drum. Oh, <laughs> I'm a standing <laughs> foot, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, that's perfect. 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 <laughs> Off you go again, John. See the events open on it on the see if how thin it is and the scabs on it as well. Yeah. And obviously an event here as well, that's indication. It's quite a distinguished kelp, yeah, the scabs on the side of it's rubbed on its nose. Obviously it's quite experienced flank, so quite clear there, kelp. Mrs. Kelp go. 